How can we add a drop shadow effect to our objects in Pixelmator Pro? Select the object and then hit Styles. That's the second tool on the tool panel list on the right. From here, you'll be able to add new styles, clicking this blue button, Add Style. And you can choose from four styles. You can add extra fill color, stroke around the object, inner shadow or drop shadow. So that's the last one we need today. I add a drop shadow and now I can control it. Take a look, it's now on. I can switch this off or on, whatever I need. I can even delete it completely. And we can decide about the distance from the object, so offset. We decide how blurry is the shadow. We can decide about the angle by moving this little point on the circle. Opacity of the shadow. And finally, the color of the shadow itself. All right. If you feel like you mess up and you want to start over with your style panel, you can click Reset Style. It will be back to very default one. It's exactly the same process for the text. Click on the text, Add Style, Drop Shadow. And now we got the very same functions. If you feel like you need more control of your shadow, instead of using the style like that, we can make a duplicate of the object. So command C, command V. I got this copy of the object. Change the color of the object itself. Change it to black. And now we can apply a blur effect on it. So head to Format, Effects, Blur. Gaussian blur will do. And now we can blur this. We can control the radius on the right side. And it's exactly as the, our shadow before, but this time we got more control. We can change the size of it. We can rotate this around. Just be sure this is behind the main object. So I need to drag this behind the main text. All right. And of course, you can always reduce the opacity of it as well. Just put the opacity slider down while the correct layer is selected. And this way you can make some kind of drop shadow, but kind of manually. It's a bit more work, but you got more control of the shadow, right? So that's beneficial if you got very specific shadow in mind. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Keep in mind, select the object, style menu, add style, drop shadow. That's all you need. Thank you for today. See you next time.